All right, Brent Porcia, topvelocity.net. I'm going to do a comparison of Zach in the 3x programs um, from when he, before he started or came down to a camp to where he is progressing now through it. We'll take Zach here um, where he is now. So off to the right side is, is where he is now. Take him from pre-3x camp. Okay, take him to his leg lift. Okay, so obvious we see coming out of his leg lift getting a little bit more of that force vector going forward. As you can see, he's perfectly 90 there. So definitely see a good lead of the hips, okay, which is great. That's great progression. Okay, let's take him into his load. So you can see as his lift load comes down, his lift leg knee breaks his front hip. Stock one right there as his lift leg comes down, his lift leg knee breaks his front hip. We can see he's continuing to get in a more linear position of that early lead. So if we look at the angle of that force vector in the back leg, the angle of the force vector um, here in the back leg, we see about a 10 degree improvement moving in a linear direction. Okay, let's see before he opens front foot, initiates his drive, you can see right, the, definitely at this point more flexion here. You can see he's already st starting extension early. So Zach is already in extension. Let's see when he initiates his drive. He's initiating his drive about right there. Let's see when he's initiating his drive here. Okay, a lot more or a lot later in the delivery, which is great. You want to peak those forces closer to front foot and strike and not too early. Now let's take him to front foot strike. Let's take Zach here to front foot strike. Okay. Looks like de just a little bit more, which would have been the case from all that work. A little more rotation out of the back leg there. You can see maybe a slight more rotation. I can see more of the top of the foot exposed here. Then I can here just a little bit more. Also, because of that, it looks like the hips are more through. And when the hips are more through, that means the arm, um, if it's in the same position it was before coming to the camp, then that would mean he has more hip shoulder separation, which I think it's probably close. Um, so there's an obvious, or it looks like a good chance that there's more hip to shoulder separation at this point. Now you can see. Pre-camp, Zach is pretty firmly in tucking his arm, aggressively tucking his arm. And you can see here now today, he hasn't started that. So that tells me that there probably isn't early trunk rotation, but we'll see how he continues that shoulder rotation. So let's take him slowly through these frames. Okay. Um, looks like... This frame's getting ahead. Okay, so that's a good d in between these two frames here. I know it's very blurred out, but it definitely looks like from the pre camp, the arm is going a lot quicker, a lot earlier into internal rotation. And we see really good shoulder abduction, great external rotation here. Um, so it looks, you know, it looks like he didn't load the arm as well excuse me, pre-camp as he is today. Let's watch him all the way to pitch release. Let's take him here to pitch release. Okay. Let's see. Looks like maybe some more forward trunk tilt at pitch release. Yeah, a lot more forward trunk tilt. So we see the trunk delivering more. We just don't see more extension in the front leg. So it's something that he could start to work on. I typically want to address that after I get better at hip to shoulder separation. Um, and then you know, then we can start working on the front leg. So um, up to this point, you can see definite progression in leading early with the hips, staying more linear through the drive leg, initiating forces later creating more hip to shoulder separation, loading the arm longer. A lot of good things are happening.
So it's obviously obvious you're going down the correct road. Let's time out these movements. Let's take you to front foot strike pre camp, front foot strike post camp. Okay. You're moving at the same speed. You just got more linear through the drive leg earlier, and you got more hip drive, back leg drive out of it. You're also, also you can see you're farther with the rubber here, which is putting you closer to the hitter. Okay, let's take you from here. Let's see how your how quickly your hips are opening. I'm looking for the front leg to stabilize after front foot, and then the hips to open. Let's say right there. See it here at front foot. Okay, so it looks like they're a little bit quicker. So that was that linear drive, uh, putting those hips into a position to open up quicker. Um, let's take it all the way to pitch release, or right after pitch release. Okay, so the same to pitch release, but we so we're taking the same time to go from the arm cock position to pitch release, but we've gotten a good amount, about twenty something more degrees in trunk rotation or trunk tilt going forward. So a lot of good things happening. These are all big plus positives that should be showing an obvious increase in ball speed. Um, but just what you need to get better at is getting better at um, peaking a little bit more of your forces in your hip rotation to get more hip to shoulder separation. Um, and then and then starting to engage more front leg. That front leg is really going to be key for you because you're not really using it that much. So, But so far, Zach, I'm really impressed. I can see you working hard, and it's a process, and you're going down the right road.